What is going on guys? Spill again here today. Bring you another controller review. It's been a little while. It's been a few months since I put out another one. Uh, figured I'd do some reviews here and there, you know, try and get a little bit back into it. I have a ton of new stuff. I have a bunch of like stuff that hasn't even been open. Model O minus. Uh, what do we got here? A ultralight two. Just all the stuff is just still in its packaging, wrapped up. Um, but yeah, I have a whole slew of new things I could do reviews on if I really wanted to. So um, yeah, if you guys want to see it, just let me know. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. So as you guys have seen from my last video, maybe last couple, I've talked about how I used to have like a really, um, really deep love for Call of Duty, and that's kind of weird to say, but yeah, I really. Really liked Call of Duty growing up. Um, you guys kind of knew Counter Strike was my game always, but uh, but I was actually super good at Call of Duty. But this is before Call of Duty was ever really a truly a competitive game, so I never really got to be that competitive with it. But I've always loved it, uh, and more the competitive side of things. You know, not just like pub stomping. That's easy. Anybody can do that. Um, but yeah, so uh, going with that nowadays is you have the modded and competitive controllers like Scuff Makes, Battle Beaver, Aim Controllers, uh, Cinch, Evil Controllers. There's a ton of them nowadays. Um, I remember I had an Evil Controller back in uh, like Modern Warfare 2, but it was uh, I think it had like a modification button. I'm actually really sad, and maybe uh, you guys would know a throwback here. I think the best controller that I ever owned back in the day was by a company called Viking Controllers. And um, it was like a fully customizable macro controller in an Xbox 360 controller. It was uh, it was really awesome. It was like way above ahead of its time. Um, it was really well made, really well done. I don't think the company really exists anymore. The website's still out there, but they don't really have any updated stuff. So... Um, I'm not sure if they kind of just stopped it or what, but it was really cool for the time. Um, but yeah, let's hop right into it. Uh, I did get another new Battle Beaver controller, so that's going to be the one I'm reviewing today. This will actually be my third Battle Beaver. Um, some of the guys were, uh, one of the guys that run helps run Battle Beaver's social stuff, uh, his name's Kaysen, was actually cool enough to let me come out and uh, pick it up straight from their shop, because I only work about, actually about like 20 minutes from... Uh, or not even less than that, probably like 10 minutes from their shop. Um, but yeah, let's get right into it. Here's the new uh, Battle Beaver DualShock 4 customized. Um, yeah, it's as you can see, I, I really love the Galaxy look to it. That I was really wanting this, this shell. I mean, I know I could buy a bunch of shells online and just replace it myself, but this one is uh, pretty sick looking in my opinion. Um, and yeah, I mean, the, the controller is just quality, as you guys can take a good look here the controller is just really well done i had a few things that i did want to talk about on it i did get their uh smart triggers um battle beaver was either one of the first or the first i can't remember if they were the first uh one to do the smart triggers and i think theirs are the best i haven't gotten the chance to use scuff's new digital triggers but the i have them both on my also my aim controller as you guys see here this one's pretty cool looking as well um has my Oh, you can't see it. it has my tag on it and everything but um yeah it has the mouse click style smart triggers on it um they take a little bit of get, getting used to if you're not used to it but i really like them nowadays they're, they're just really fast they're really fast compared to the you know uh even just normal trigger stops these are super fast um so you know if you got a good trigger finger which i have a pretty decent one and kind of get it jitter in there a little bit um it, it really helps out. It's a big fan. I'm a big fan of that. Um, I think it's a really cool design. Uh, but yeah, as you guys can see, I actually only got the two underneath buttons and I had them actually put a little bit higher up because I have pretty small hands and I like to use my middle fingers to tap them. So I play like this. I play L1 R1 for shooting games. I like to play like this. So I tap them with these fingers. Um, the cool thing about these actually though is I got the what Battle Beaver is calling their quiet bumper buttons here. Um, they're like they're a little bit more quieter. Uh, the old ones have a very defined like click 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 to them. 
Um, these ones are pretty quiet and they're the main reason I got these though is they're very easy to push in like super easy like you could do it on accident I did it on accident the first uh, few times I was getting used to it still so you know it was but they're very easy to push in um, and I think one of Battle Beaver's biggest selling points these days is well not only are they just quality like Battle Beaver is quality like maybe not i mean they're still just using dual shock controller components stuff like that so it's not like they're creating a whole new controller but the way they put it together and the time that they take they make sure everything works well everything's put together well um but the big selling point other than that and what they do to their controllers is on this specific controller i have the thumbstick tension increased on the right stick to be close to matching to my old faithful the Xbox 360 controller, which it's very similar. This is a scuff hybrid Xbox 360 controller that I actually still plug in from time to time just because I love the shape of that controller. I think it is the best shaped controller ever made. Um, but yeah, so the thumbstick tension on this one is increased. It's not on the left one because this is just usually the movement key, so I don't mind it not being um, tensioned like that because you know I'm running, I'm pressing it down quickly, that sort of thing. With it, this one is more about the precise aim. I think you just get a little bit more precise aim with that higher thumbstick tension. It lets you, you know, kind of you don't move it too much. The normal DualShock controllers are a little too loose for me, uh, and that was a big complaint. Which Battle Beaver also actually makes a module that goes into the Astro C40 controller that I reviewed before on here um, that has increased tension like these, which was the huge complaint I had about the Astro C40 other than it just being too big for my hands also is that the thumbsticks on the thing were super loose. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, the controller is just great, well-made. Uh, and I, I do have one thing I have, I actually have a scuff vantage on order. This will be the second scuff vantage I've ever had. This is the scuff vantage two though. Um, I'm just in the, I'm interested to try it out again. I had the Scuff Vantage one for a little bit. It wasn't the best. It, not that it wasn't the best shape wise, but it wasn't the best because the controller itself had a bunch of issues. That being said, as I as you guys know, and I like to point out every time I talk about controllers, the Xbox 360 is the greatest controller for me. Like it's it's just the shape of it fit me like no other. And I'm not, I mean, I've played a lot on PlayStation, so it's not like I'm just not used to it. I don't know. Just the, the PlayStation or the Xbox style controller fit me the best. And the Vantage is probably the closest thing to that shape wise mm -hmm. um, that I'm going to get. I'll, like I said, I'll even plug in my Scuff Hybrid still and use it sometimes on my PlayStation with a um, Cronus Max. I'll plug this, this little guy in right here sometimes and use it. Um, but it has this weird thing that because it's not the input is not meant to be used on there it like disconnects every 10 minutes and it's kind of screwed me a few times before in like clutch situations my comp my controller was cut out but um yeah all in all it, i mean this is if you're gonna the only gripe i really ever see about battle beaver is that they take a while to get you your controller um they just are really backed up they're actually getting more people in so i think they're gonna be start to be um, a little bit faster on how they get them out, but uh, that is the one gripe I hear about the Battle Beavers is it can take a couple months to get you your controller. So if you're wanting it, you probably better order early, earlier than you want to use it, basically. But every single one of them that I've had has been super quality. And you can, I will, I forgot to mention, um, you can get multiple buttons on the back if you want to. I believe up to four. Uh, I just only get two because I play COD and I really only ever use two. I use um, jump and melee are the only things I use. I'm not really interested in reload or anything like that on it. I can see if you play Fortnite or like uh, Apex or any of the like games where there's a lot more going on. You need to use abilities, that sort of stuff. Um, I can see it being useful. It just isn't to me and they more or less get in my way. So that's just, it's all preference. It's how I like it. But yeah, all in all, this is just a uh, pretty great controller. Um, really a 10 out of 10. If you're wanting this shape, you're wanting the DualShock controller with modifications. Um, I've had my best experiences with Battle Beaver. That's what I would go with. All right, guys. It's been Spilly again here today. Let me know if you have any questions or comments and uh, go from there.